Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 22nd, 2021. Well, yesterday, what started out as a um, hope of a reversal, a relief rally, turned into a, an all out rush to uh, buy the dip and um, extend this market extremely high again so what does that mean for today well how about we grab ourselves something to drink let's buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here this morning um yesterday um we just saw a rush back into the market it seems like we're a very emotional market right now. We're either we're either rushing in or we're running for the doors. And not much in between here with these huge point moves in the market. That raises the danger level for trading. And you know, it's interesting. I continue to receive lots and lots of emails from folks that are just really challenged in this market their accounts aren't growing as a matter of fact they're chopping up their accounts with lots of um, potential losses because of these big point move whips making it very very challenging and kind of punishing them for um, you know kind of chasing around the emotion but if we take a look at these markets nothing is terrible yet and in any way shape or form our our we have a very very bullish market condition here and you can see rallying right off of that support level that we talked about yesterday we cut that cut that support we found those buyers and oh my goodness did they decide to rush in unfortunately what we also have to realize is rushing back into the market we've basically pushed ourselves right back up here to um, the high resistance in the market and we'll see if we have enough energy to push on through that today or in the days following so watch that closely just remember we we moved a lot of points yesterday and if we were to stumble and that's the problem with big point moves like this. It makes it very, very dangerous. If we have one news report that disappoints, we could easily see that reversal come right back into play and come right back down. And let's just, let's just envision if all we do is take back half of yesterday's move, which wouldn't look like much, that's 150 points down in the Dow and could be a little bit punishing if you rushed into an already extended stock. So think about that carefully as you plan your risk, just how much risk are you taking or required to take in um, a market that's whipping in such big price moves. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY in a very bullish condition here, um, continuing to zoom to the upside. Now, one of the things I pointed out yesterday is that we are still quite a ways away from our trend. And although we did can't gain a little bit of support in here yesterday with that big pop, just keep in mind that we could easily slip back into that still moving over toward the trend. Let's not forget the fact that we are quite extended here in the market that doesn't mean that we can't continue to extend remember all these earnings events all these news events can certainly inspire us to move higher um, in the market but you always want to keep in mind that if we stumble for any reason the point move back could be really punishing so you don't want to chase a stock that's already extended you want to be very very focused on the charts that you're taking and remember to think about that risk before you enter the trade it's so easy to get caught up in the emotion and over trade in a market that's moving like this um, let's take a look at the Q's now the QQQ Although we had that really ugly number from Netflix yesterday, um, the market chose to, hey, we don't care. We're just going to r rally again. And we zoomed back up. So we did recover that support. Now, I think that is a good sign for the NASDAQ, recovering that support. Now the question is, recovering it's one thing. Now prove that you can hold it. That's the next test. Can we hold that level of support? Zooming up, great. 
breaking through, but we don't want to see that reversal that comes right back down. So make sure we can get some proof that we can hold that level. And let's not forget just how extremely extended these indexes are at the moment, and that we could actually see that rest or pullback continue in the market. So just kind of keep that in mind. And then let's take a look at IWM. IWM had a great day yesterday. Remember, we were talking about this little concern of this downtrend showing itself in IWM. And let's keep in mind that did not resolve itself yesterday, and, and nor did the reversal in, in the SPY or QQQ um, take out resistance highs. So here we have resistance here in the chart and a little bit of a double top resistance right there. And we've got the resistance of the downtrend. So now the question is, as we push up into that resistance, are we going to reject it again or are we going to actually break through and prove to hold so watch that closely those are important questions to be answered and we also have this bit of a challenge here we have higher lows but lower highs kind of a hmm you know, kind of a challenging situation. And not only lower highs, but we made a lower low this last time. So here we are in this um, ascending triangle or this symmetrical triangle um, wedge pattern that really could go either direction. We could make that decision we're gonna pop through and hold. We could make that decision we can't break that resistance and break down and do that. It all depends on how these news events continue to roll out. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, although we zoomed up yesterday, and I mean zoomed up yesterday, um, we didn't we didn't take back all of the fear that was created yesterday. So we can kind of see that emotion that is set up here in the market, these big whips that occur. But we didn't we didn't recover um, completely here in the VIX. It was nice to see it pull back and it was nice to see that lower high being made. That's exactly what we want to see. But we really should have seen just a little bit more of decline in fear yesterday, which shows that emotion is still pretty high. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I think this is overall bullish for the market, very bullish for the market, as a matter of fact, holding that resistance level um, in that chart and rejecting that level, at least at the moment. So just keep a close eye on that. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Got to tell you, this one... Oh, it was just one of those things that um, makes for challenging, challenging trading. We went from, um, this is that zooming market. It's either all or nothing. We either rush in or we run for the doors. And yesterday was the rush in day and we zoomed up here. We were down in uh, this area below 50 and notice that by the end of the day, we were back up here in the bearish reversal zone, um, meaning that we have gone from kind of a short term um, um, bearish sentiment to a short term bullish sentiment. Um, overly bullish sentiment all in one day. So crazy, crazy market whips. That makes for a dangerous market. And just remember that being back up here, we risk that possibility. If we find any kind of bearishness, any kind of stumble, we could pull back pretty substantially. So watch that close. Um, let's take a look at our T2101. And I got to tell you guys, this is a problem. And that is we rushed up yesterday, we zoomed up yesterday, but take a look at our market breadth. Our market breadth continues to decline, and I mean sharply decline. We continue to drop in this market breadth as this market zoomed to the upside. I'm not exactly sure what that means for us, but it makes me uncomfortable and it makes me uncertain about this market, and it makes me want to avoid chasing or rushing into um, trades. So be really, really careful here um, in the market in case we happen to get that whipsaw that goes the other direction. We need to see some follow through obviously to the upside to build that confidence that we're back on that bullish track without the big whipsaws. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a few things today that we wanna pay attention to. First off, we have jobless claims this morning. Um, 
Jubbles claims it may be one of the bigger numbers they're expecting about 603, 605,000, something like that, of jo um, weekly jobless claims coming in. So if we, we come in around those numbers, I don't think anybody's going to get too oh, wigged out about that. We're going to want to pay attention to existing home sales. They're, they're um, expecting a modest decline in um, those home sales. We know those home prices have been rising um, almost exponentially, and um, the frenzy of buying seems to have begun to cool down because of prices and the high cost of materials. So watch that closely. We have a natural gas report and a Fed balance sheet that you know nobody cares about as long as the Fed keeps printing money. Let's take a look on Friday just uh, as we're preparing for the rest uh, or the finish of the week. Just remember we've got the PMI flash and new home sales to um, think about. Let's um, take a look at the earnings calendar. Now we have a very busy earnings calendar today. There is no way I can cover all of the stocks that are in the earnings calendar today. So I want to encourage you guys to click that link below the title of the video that will take you back to the blog where I have listed out um, those notables for today. So I'm just going to cover a few and largely because I, I'm running short on time this morning. Let's take a look. One that's going to be important this afternoon, Intel. Whoops. Intel will be reporting after the bell today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. It's not one of those uh, larger size techs that will be reporting. That will be a key factor um, in how we might open tomorrow. So kind of keep that in mind. We're going to um, get some um, um, reports from Sam Adams. We're going to hear from uh, Cliffs Natural or Cliffs, Cleveland Cliffs. And this is going to be important, I think, to keep an eye on with all of the talk of infrastructure um, improvements. Um, steel, um, copper, um, FCX is reporting today as well. We'll want to keep a close eye on those as they continue to um, roll out those earnings reports. Take a look at stocks like Mattel, Mattel reporting today, uh, Valero Energy reporting today. Energy sector stocks have been struggling just a little bit. We got a nice little recovery yesterday, but they've been struggling a little bit. We'll want to keep an eye on some of those reports. Um, TSCO, Tractor Supply, um, getting a big booming move here this morning after its earnings reports. And I got to tell you, this seems to be a trend, guys. Anything in that farm-related, uh, food production-related um, area seems to be very, very strong. Um, keep a close eye on that um, tractor supply zooming up here this morning. So make sure, guys, that you go check out those earnings report, uh, those notable earnings reports and um, from the blog and um, we'll move on here this morning. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And before we do that, guys, if you could help me out and do me a quick favor, and that is click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you're notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel these videos are worthy, please continue to smash that like button, leave a brief comment that helps us continue to grow. And I just got to say thank you so much to you guys um, for all of your kind words. Um, I, I tell you, it, it's very humbling when I go through and answer those comments, um, all the kindness. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you to those that are supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link below the title of the video. Um, that is amazing. And hopefully um, you will start to see some improvements here in the channel soon with a little more of me on camera. That might be scary, but me on camera um, as we move along. Let's Let's take a look at um, some stocks setting up. Now, please remember, guys, as I go over these, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you're doing your own due diligence and you're following along um, with your rules um, closely. Never, ever blindly follow anyone's trade. Now, what I was mentioning is food-related things just can uh, continue to be very, very strong. And I just want to point out a couple trades. I, I'm not one to 
uh, to promote or toot my horn or anything like that about trades, but I think it's important to note some of the things that are that are going on in the market. Take a look at KHC. KHC has been in this beautiful rally and the right way options, um, we picked this up, uh, membership picked this up in this trade as we broke through this little downtrend on this weekly chart. Look at this beautiful upside trend. Um, we're doing so fantastically well on this and, and we're seeing this in a lot of the food related stocks, um, uh, consumer defensive related stocks, I should say, because it's it's happening in a lot of different places. You might want to check that out. We're seeing lots and lots of strength in this area and making some great money from trades like that. And one of the things that's being really helpful, I think, to a, to a lot of folks in RWO is slowing the process down. Notice that I went to a weekly chart here. We're slowing it down with the big whips and the big swings that we're seeing in the market. We can hold that longer term chart for these great gains, even though we're whipping around. So I'm staying long the market as much as I talk about be careful not to over trade, be careful not to chase trades. What I'm talking about is maybe slow your roll a little bit, look for that little bit longer term trade where you can withstand some of that whip. Now you may have to trade a little bit smaller than normal position to be able to handle that, but just kind of keep in mind that we've, we've been turning in some tremendous profits uh, doing this. So watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at some of those other food related or um, um, consumer defensive type stocks. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Coke, since our price alert here in the chart, continuing to move up. Now, keep in mind, we've got some price resistance in the chart we have to um, think about and focus in on. I would suggest not chasing this at this point, but wait for the next potential entry into the trade. Coke really perking up. Um, I'm going to put PepsiCo in that same list. PepsiCo breaking through some price resistance in this chart yesterday and um, maybe getting a little bit of a pullback now. So watch this for that next potential entry. If that can hold in here for that um, opportunity that this could um, gain a little bit of support in here and continue this upside move. Uh, PepsiCo looking very, very strong. You might also want to take a look at some of the um, adult beverage areas. Take a look at TAP. Uh, TAP has been moving up in this trend and we're dealing with some price resistance in this um, chart right here. And we're showing some nice little bullishness right in here as we hold on to this price support. Keep an eye on this. If this can gain that energy to the upside, we could pop on through, keep moving to the upside. TAP um, is something I would want to keep on my list and watch. Now let's move over to a couple other things that you might want to be keeping an eye on. Take a look at this defensive sector and what I mean by defensive sector, aerospace and defense. You know, there's an awful lot of conversation out there about China and Taiwan and the saber rattling going on in there. Take a look at NOC, beautiful upside trend, very, very strong. Now we're getting this little rest here in the chart. I've placed an alert on this. I'm not sure I want to, the longer this rest, the better this is but um, keep an eye on that price resistance in that chart. NOC, we're seeing stocks like LMT showing that same kind of bullishness. We're perking up here, moving up in trends, getting a little bit of a resting pullback. Um, um, RTH, I've been mentioning, um, whoops, that's not hard. That's not the chart that I want. Um, just a second. Oh, that's my problem, RTH. RTH is another chart that we've been keeping a close eye on and I've mentioned it. Um, no, 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 that's not it. Um, excuse me, RTX. I apologize, guys. Senior moment there, I guess. RTX, another defense, um, aerospace defense stock that um, watching in here. Look at that beautiful bullish candle yesterday. Uh, powering up. So you might want to keep an eye on that area. It seems like we're getting a little bit of price action going on there as concerns um, um, continue to grow 
between those two countries. Let's take a look at some emerging markets. I've been keeping an eye on this emerging markets wise and trying to see if this is going to break through this resistance uh, to the upside. There's been a lot of conversation about world markets are undervalued at the moment by comparison to the US market. So kind of keep an eye on that. There may be an opportunity if that can pop through that resistance um, to make some upside moves in that chart. A few others that you might want to um, keep an eye on. You might want to keep an eye on Tyson. There's that food thing again. Tyson moving up nicely alerted yesterday for me, kind of um, pushing right on up that line. Keep a close eye on that. I mentioned Dish yesterday and um, Dish was one of those charts that um, alerted early on in the morning. Look at that thing zoom. Don't chase that. Any rest or pullback now could set up an opportunity. Been keeping an eye on um, MT. As you guys know, I am actually holding this MT trade, so I have a bias here. And um, want to keep an eye on this MT continuing to hold in here. Had a nice bullish day. We need to see some follow through though um, on that chart, but starting to uh, maybe perk up here, look a little bit better on yesterday's move. Take a look at um, overall in the entire sector of consumer staples, guys. Um, XLP, this is another trade that I hold. Uh, very bullish. Uh, very, very bullish right now. So keep a close eye on any of those consumer staples um, in the market. Um, good potential moves. We can see those kind of things in post here. We can see it um, in Kellogg's. We can see it in um, GIS. We can see it in Hershey. Um, we can see it in um, Colgate Palm Olive. We can see it in lots and lots of those defensive sector stocks. They are really showing some strength, so watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. And hey, I want to encourage everyone, if you haven't taken a look at the Right Way Option Service, you might want to come on over to the website, check it out, might want to take a trial. We have an app that's really, really cool. And that app is, even if you're busy, if you're not able to um, be in the trading room during the day, when I post a trade or post an alert, you receive it on your phone. So kind of a, uh, well, it's a very handy thing for those busy folks that are out running around. Um, and unable to attend the trading room. So kind of keep that in mind. You might want to come on over, check out the website, see if there's something that we can do to help you out with your trading. Everyone take care. We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great one.